All right, everyone, welcome back to Premier Study and Investing. Glad to have you. Today we're going to be looking at a pharma company, a small one, ATYR Pharma Incorporated. I have a cool ticker, it's LIFE, L-I-F-E, trade on NASDAQ. Pretty small company. One thing I want to draw your attention to is they were down today 10%, closed at $3.27. I made almost 5% of that back. One thing I want you to be aware of, this is going to be an interesting play perhaps for three types of people. One, value investors. Two, folks that are interested in Rona therapies. And this company really, their lead product focuses on lung disease. So you can see it's in the ballpark much better than maybe some of these companies that are trying to throw, you know, like a cancer drug at the Rona or maybe say like an arthritis drug. I mean, you see all kinds of people trying all kinds of different things and basically getting approved to run trials to see, you know, does it have any effect? Does it maybe increase the blood pressure or what, whatever, you know, all kinds of different things people are running. So the third type of person that might be really interested in this is someone that has a medical background or you're familiar with lung diseases, sarcoidosis, or interstitial lung disease, which leads to the same kind of scarring. This is kind of the company that does a lot of that, and so you might be able to kind of purse out whether this has room to run, they're really doing something that other companies aren't doing. If we look quickly at some of their analysts, we have three analysts who cover this, all current buy ratings. Stock price, the, the high target price is 15, low of 12, average 13.33. So that's pretty interesting given that it's trading, you know, it's almost 4x from where we are now. Just as a little confirmation, going to go over here to Schwab real quick, and you can see Reuters maintains current price target of 13.33 for life. They've had that since March 4th of 2020. Also, CR, uh, CFRA has a buy rating since September 26th. We'll quickly, we'll jump over and we'll look at Finviz. They give us a nice chart coming off the May lows, the support levels. You can see that this candle dropped significantly below that. Now we're going to find out why. It's basically because of share dilution that the market reacted in the way it did. Book value per share is 386, but it's been 386 for weeks. 386, 385, depending on which site you look at. So this isn't updated, okay? So don't feel like, oh, well, great, I can get this thing at a great discount. You know, it's trading at 325, I can get it at 386. No, you know, this is just a, an, uh, it's an outdated number. Small, small cap, micro cap, $33 million company. I wouldn't pay much attention to these quarter over quarter sales increases or the EPS increases because we'll look at their balance sheet and their income statement. And really they've had over five years, never made over a million in sales. AC Wainwright is one of the analysts that cover them. Price target $13, August 17th. Also, go back to March 4th and March 2nd, we have a price target of 15 uh, coming from Roth and eight coming from Oppenheimer. So those are the three analysts that cover the company. This is coming from the company's website. You can see these gentlemen's names here. I'll tell you one other quick thing. We'll look at the insider buying. CFO, CEO bought around $4.20 back in June. Their director sold between 4.30 and 4.01 during September, during August. Going over to trading view, we can see Summary is a sell. Oscillators, maybe a buy. Moving average is strong sell. I'll let you guys get a look at this if you're in oscillators and moving averages. You can see all those right there. Tell a little bit of a different story. And here's the pivots Classic Fibonacci, Camarilla, Woody, DM. If we go over to their news releases, we have two stories. One is an announcement that I really think is just some fluff to cover up this share dilution thing that they had. They made this deal. So there are a couple of nice things you need to know from this announcement about the phase one trial getting kicked off in Japan for ATYR1923. It's their main product. I'll leave you a little bit about this, about their partner, Kyoren. Um, I'll be their manufacturing and commercialization in Japan. The other thing you should know is that it also goes by the name KRP-R120 in Japan. Same uh, name, two different names for the same drug. The other thing we find out is that they announced a 20 million common stock purchase agreement with Aspire Capital Fund. In the subheadline, you can see that Aspire Capital commits to purchase up to 20 million of common stock over a period of 30 months. Okay, is that a lot? Well, what this ends up being is 3 million shares. We can see this is from the SEC website prospectus. And one thing that we noticed is that on September 16th, uh, like two weeks ago, basically, that the sales price of the stock was $4.20. Well, okay, 3 million more shares. Well, what does that mean? Currently, they have 9.5 million shares, we'll call it. If we add an extra 3 million on that, so if we take the 9.5 divided by 
It's basically like 76%, it's a 0.76. If we multiply 0.76 times the $4.20, it gives us $3.19, which is pretty darn close to the $3.27 that closed at today. So that's share dilution for you. If we look over their investor summary, their presentation, they say that the main product, the AT Wire 1923 that we've been talking about, it's maybe worth about two to three billion dollars globally. So you might be asking yourself, what kind of impact would a two to three billion dollar drug have on this company? Well, if you look back over the last five years, total revenues has never reached a million dollars. It's always been less than a million. Values are in millions. They've never made money. And they were founded in 2005. You can see that here, and they're headquartered in San Diego. They're gonna do really great. After we look at this presentation, you're saying maybe they will get that two to three billion dollar drug out the door and you know into hospitals and out helping patients. And I mean, that would be the only thing that you could see that really represents this $14, $15 price per share that we see from some of these analysts. One thing we need to ask is, well, how long is it gonna to take to get there? This information is current up to September 22nd, 2020. So very, very recent. Let me give you the pipeline. So they have the ATYR. It's basically designed for pulmonary sarcoidosis. Sarcoidosis is, it causes a lot of scarring and primarily it affects people in the lungs. You can get it in, in your eye, you can get it on your skin, uh, but it's in phase two. That's one they're doing that partnership with, with uh, Kyorin out of Japan. They're also, you know, using the same drug for other ILDs. We'll see that in a second, but this is like other lung diseases. Also, you can see that it's going to relate to the Rona. And so for those of you that are looking for Rona therapies, this might be an interesting in phase two that you haven't heard about. And you might be able to get before it runs up significantly. If, the, if you're a medical person, this helps you. Okay, great. You can check this out. Pause it. For the rest of us, it basically says that the drug inhibits cytokines, which we've heard about all the time. You know, the cytokine storm. You want to modulate that you want to suppress that inhibit that whatever so uh, the drug inhibits the release of other cytokines like IFN Y the IL-17 the IL-5 the IL-13 the IL-21 the IL-10 and the TNF alpha so I like this slide it talks about the market opportunity of inflammatory interstitial lung disease they say that about 200 types of this disease occur, but there's four major types comprised about 80% of patients, which would be one, two, three, four of those wedges. And they say that their drug, the focus, at least of the company, is on these three. See that here? Again, two to three billion dollar global market opportunity. Here's a little bit of information, 200,000 patients in the United States. They say 90% of people who get this disease, they get it in the lungs. So this is their phase B, 2A, study pulmonary sarcoidosis ongoing. If you want to know a little bit about the financing with a collaboration with the Japanese firm, you can see that here. Looking over at the Rona, I'm going to break it down like this. We know that patients who experience morbidity or mortality, they experience lung inflammation, and that's driven by certain cytokines like we see here. It's talking about the pathology on this left half. And it's basically the IL-2, 7, 6, 10, G-CSF, the CMP1, the MIP1A, and the TNF-alpha. So those, that's eight they list. And if we go over here and we look at the mechanism of action, we see that the drug includes a, you know, release or decreases in inflammation and cytokine release of one, two, three of them. And then it also has anti-inflammatory and anti fibrotic effects for three, four, five, and six. So basically out of the eight, it talks about six. So six out of the eight. I understand this one isn't listed the INF-Lambda, so you might need to check that out. Basically, this bottom section says, look, there's a, something about that their drug binds selectively to NRP2, primarily the B1 domain, and this is something that the virus, the coronavirus, needs. It's like the spots taken, the slots filled, whatever, by the drug, and so the virus can't enter the cell or enter, enter the tissue, however it works on a more technical level. But the long and the short is that they're in the phase two. They have 30 adult patients. I think this is coming out of Japan. Severe respiratory complications. It may not be out of Japan. Uh, randomized one to one. They're using single doses, either one milligram or three milligrams, and they're looking for very common endpoints. So nothing new. It's basically like all the other uh, trials you know that we've seen. Looking at their endpoints. I'll just wrap it up with these slides. I'm not going to even read them to you, but this is some other work that they're doing. So you can pause it on your screen, on your computer, on your phone. I'm not going to spend a lot of time, but certainly. You're going to need some kind of uh, understanding 
at least to even sort out what this is, what these products are. This part's important, they expect phase two results for the Rona patients expected in Q4 2020. All right, well that was ATYR Pharma. Thanks so much for stopping by. We'll see you guys next time.